All right, guys, we're going to do a quick video of the time comparison it takes for one uh, compared to the other to fill up between the DeWalt and the Milwaukee. Now, the DeWalt is a two and a half gallon compared to a two gallon, but we can still do the math and figure out, you know, which one would air up the quickest. Now, both of these are going to pretty much do your brad nails, any of that with no issues whatsoever. When it comes to airing up a 50 PSI tire, uh, we'll probably get into that and see which one airs that up the quickest as well. The DeWalt's been out for a while. It's on the 60 volt platform. We have a DeWalt 12 amp hour battery fully charged. Then the Milwaukee that came out this year, uh, we have a 12 amp hour battery that is fully charged as well. So let's get into the testing. So right at two minutes, four seconds. Not bad at all for two and a half gallon. And uh, hopefully you heard how loud or quiet that was. Now let's move on to the Milwaukee. It's drain plug. Well, you've got two. You've got your release valve and then you've got to drain your moisture out of the tank. We're gonna close that off. And we're going to turn it on and see how long it takes. So we're going to say two minutes, four seconds for the DeWalt. And uh, here we go. Now, listen to how quiet this thing is. This is very, very quiet. You could literally talk and have a conversation with this air compressor running and never even know it's running. Uh, let's turn the DeWalt. Let's turn the DeWalt on so you can hear the difference here between the two. DeWalt off. DeWalt on. That is just absolutely crazy how quiet this Milwaukee one is. We're already at 90 PSI, 57 seconds in, 59 minutes. So we'll say a minute 46 for the Milwaukee. So uh, here's the Milwaukee. And now we're going to turn the DeWalt on. PSI tire, which I believe I'm going to do just to see which one really airs it up the fastest. I'm going to, you know, set these, let them air up to their full capacity, hook a hose up. We'll see which one runs and then we'll see how much battery life we have left on each of these batteries. Also, since we barely did anything with them. Um, so with the times with the two gallon, uh, compared to the 2.5 gallon now you would think that the Milwaukee would air up quicker uh, but with the times in per gallon it airs up every 53 seconds and with the DeWalt per gallon it airs up every 49.6 seconds so the DeWalt is faster by around three and a half seconds there so we're gonna start with the DeWalt we got it hooked up max capacity all the way over and uh, let's see how long it takes to air up from 20 PSI to 50 
and then we will do the same thing with the Milwaukee and uh, here we go three two one so it ran I let off and when I let off I noticed that we were pretty much right at 58 pounds so I just kept going um, so uh, by the time you take that couple seconds away it had probably been 54 ish seconds uh, but I've got 57.4 to the end so let's let the air back down to 20 and see what the Milwaukee is capable of all right so we got 20 on the tire now Focus. Let's reset our timer. Let's put this bad boy on and let's see how long it takes to air up. So, uh, y'all can't see. Oh, quit letting air. Uh, hopefully, you can. I don't know if you can or not. This says 20 exactly on this gauge. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, here we go. And we'll do the same thing. I'll wait it 50 seconds and then I'll test it and see what it's at. So uh, let's see how long this takes. We're on our max pressure here. Uh, let's see how long this takes. So three, two, one. This kicks on in four and a half fish seconds, a little bit past. The wall. Hey, we've got our 50 pounds. Got our 50. Let's let this finish airing up. So after quickly going through and pulling, which probably another second or so I would say they were right neck neck because the uh, I've got 55.63 with this one and that was you know letting off of it to check the gauge pulling it uh, to get it up to the 50 a uh, couple times so 54 seconds I mean I would say they're neck to neck if anything maybe a second apart uh, going from 20 to 50 psi so both of these are going to do it. This one started airing up from about four seconds in. This one started a little after four seconds in. So, you know, once again, two and a half gallon compared to two gallon. Uh, but when it came right down to it, they both pretty much air up a 50 PSI tire the same. Uh, so it's really going to come down to price and the quietness level to you, I guess you could say. Now I have ran, uh, if you go back and you watch the video of this, when I got it, I put a frame nailer on this bad boy and uh, just to see if it would push it and it will push it. And both of these are, you know, 135. They're both 1.2 at 90. So, I mean, I, I really don't see an issue with the DeWalt running a frame and nailer as well. Uh, which one's battery is going to last the longest? would be the next question I guess you know runtime of battery uh, and let's let's go over price of what these are as of right now tool only all right so let's talk about some specs of these and uh, price things of that nature you let me know what your thoughts are because 
I know what my thoughts are, but I'm curious to hear yours. So let's start with battery. All right, so the DeWalt used one bar <coughs> and the Milwaukee is still fully charged. Now, how close is that to dropping a bar? Mm, I don't have a clue. Um, let's talk about weight, okay? The weight of the DeWalt. I weighed both of these on a scale, even after looking at specs, just still wanted to weigh them. So uh, the DeWalt I got 21, a little over 21 pounds on. The Milwaukee, I got 24.5253. Uh, so, you know, a little over 24 pounds on this one. So three pounds heavier. Uh, and so far, the only thing it did was it's way quieter than the DeWalt. Uh, price point. Bare tool only for the Milwaukee, you're looking at 349 still. Uh, once again, I mean, this is new this year. 349, bare tool. How much does the quietness mean to you? The DeWalt you can get with a charger and a six amp hour battery for $300. So $299 actually. So $50 less, you can get a battery and a charger, uh, or you can get tool only. Now, the only bad thing about the $300 is, I mean, well, it's really not a bad thing. You're getting a six amp hour, 60 volt battery. Uh, but if you don't have these batteries, they're really not that cheap. Uh, so to get a battery with the compressor for 300 bucks, do it. That's, I mean, that literally, I would recommend it. You can't go wrong having an extra battery, especially a 60 volt, 20 volt, six amp. If you have some already, you still can't go wrong. Uh, now, the Milwaukee, once again, 349, tool only, both of them really do the exact same thing. Now, I don't know what the recommended, uh, what they base their brad nails off of per charge on the Milwaukee, but the DeWalt, I'm assuming, bases it off of their six amp. Don't quote me on that. They claim 1,220 brad nails. Uh, Milwaukee claims 1,600 18 gauge brad nails per charge but once again i personally do not know what battery amp that is so if you happen to possibly know feel free to comment down below and let me know are they talking about a six a nine uh, a 12 um what's the difference there i mean if, if we're talking apples to apples six amp versus six amp not only are you getting quieter, you're paying a little more, but it's gonna work with all of your batteries. You don't have to have a special battery. Uh, but then again, this 60 volt, 20 volt will work with all of your DeWalt stuff. Uh, you just can't take a regular 20 volt and use it on this like you can Milwaukee's. So uh, there's, there's a lot of pros and cons there. It just is going to vary of which one is gonna be the right one for you. Uh, the DeWalt's been out for a while. Uh, the Milwaukee, once again, just came out this year. Will we see a price drop on it? Uh, probably, but there's a lot of people that's went crazy for this air compressor as well. So uh, you may not see a price drop on it. Supply and demand. If you're buying them for 350, I mean, hey, why, why lower the price? Uh, so anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoy this. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. But let me know in the comments which one do you think is the right one for you. So uh, y'all have a good one, and I will see you in the next one.